So we all know that communication is really important, but when we're talking about improving health and social care, we tend to adopt a definition of communication that's far too narrow. Indeed, we often lead it to the internal communication part of our organisation. And we think about the transmission and imparting of information. Human beings don't just react to information, they react to context and feelings. So even the core traditional definition isn't enough. But human beings don't necessarily know that they want to do the things that you want them to do. So a lot of our communication is bound to be about persuasion. And the third part of this is that, uh, of course, if we're going to really make this stick in organisations, it's as much about learning as it is about communication. And then the last, but also the first point, is that we don't do this in a vacuum. So before we start and as we're finishing, we need to notice those around us and really pick up on what matters to them and check in with them when the improvement is finished, although of course improvement is never finished.